That's UB40, higher ground. Yeah. And uh, I, it's good to play it a few times because I'm picking up on the lyrics. It's the, the more I learn, the less I know about before. <laughs> so you thought you knew. Yeah. Is that what it means? And you learn something it and you realise like you didn't know. It sounds like that. I think that's what it's saying. Yeah. Well. Wow. Which is good for, good for us on the We Don't Know show. Because sure. actually, according to that, we'll, if we learnt anything, we'd realise we knew even less. Even less than we actually do, so... Oh. Well, I don't know. Can even, we go on? Well, I don't know. Well... We, 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 we should try and learn something. Mm. And it might help us. Yeah. And it brings me on to my rant, or my topic. Because, um... One of the consequences of this um, leaving the EU decision, which has been made, no doubt about that, uh, in my view, is is the universities, uh, not necessarily just the funding, but the connections. Uh, one of the one of the EU research projects that I've been following is the uh, open learning, which I think has been going on since about the 80s when I first came across it with the, the Delta project developing European learning through technological advance it's, but there's loads of these European projects with letters and uh, it didn't seem to come up very much during the during the referendum the the various schemes which I see is quite positive that uh, do happen in Europe but anyway what what strikes me is that those connections are gonna gonna be lost um, unless we pay a lot more attention to Scotland because I think Scotland is either going to be still in the EU or else they're gonna work on having some connections so I think maybe the, the next time we go to bet John yep we should look out for is the EU still bothering to come and present anything and Who's there from Scotland, and what they're doing about open open learning? They, they right. call, okay, so but uh, don't forget, it's going to be two years before we're actually at the European Union. That is true. So, you know, well, the, the, the bet won't be for what about another half, best part of a year. It's going to be no half a year, let's say. Yeah, going to be in January. So by then, it'll be quite clear, well, fairly clear, what what's supposed to happen during these two years. So that's a that's a reasonable time scale, isn't it? Yeah. But it, it seems to me Scotland holds the key to uh, academic research. That's that's what I that's what that's what I can think of at the moment. Mm. Anyway, um, if you've got any views on that, do I think, do get get in touch with it with this show. Yeah, do. Um, we don't necessarily have the same views on, on, on the European Union and the referendum, do we, John? I think we can just say that. Yes. Without getting into controversy. Yes. Any any range of views would find somebody on this two-person show. Yes, <laughs> that, well, yes. That would uh, be interested. But we'd anyway. both be interested anyway. Are you playing another song? Yeah, I'm going to play another song. Um, this is this is from Beverly, Beverly Knight's, a new, new CD called Salzville. 